Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video we're going to take a look at summarization inside of EIDRP. It's going to be a two-part video. This video is going to be just summarizing four addresses into one. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at leak maps. So taking one route out of the summary and popping it through to the other router. So we're using topology one, or actually topology zero, which is our two routers. I'm going to make a couple changes here. First, I'm going to put a whole bunch of loopbacks, actually four loopbacks on router two. So loopback one, loopback two, loopback three, loopback four. And the IP addresses are 2101, 2111, 2121, and so on. So you can see here the only difference is that the third octet starts at zero, then goes to one, two, and three. Everything is going to be a slash 24 mask. So what we're pretending to be is that this is connected to a switch or something, and there's four VLANs uh, past that, and we have a whole bunch of computers. Okay, so that's... We're pretending that our loopbacks are some other networks. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those four networks and squish them down to one network. Okay, And just to visualize here, I might as well put a note in there. Just hold on for just a second. Going to put our note right there. And, whoa, uh, paste our stuff in there. Let me just clean this up a little bit. And that's our loop back three, loop back two. It's a pretty ugly font, but it will have to do for now. Okay, so that's what we have. We've got our loop back information. I don't know if that actually helps, but anyway, it's there. Okay, so that's our four loop backs right there. My routers are already up. I'm going to go to R2 and paste this stuff into R2, show IP int BR, just to show you what I have already. So I have a loopback 0, and I have a fast Ethernet 00. zero. Go into conf T, right click, and all my loopbacks get pasted in there. Life is good. Show IP int BR, and we've got uh, four loopbacks, and everything is okay. Now we're going to paste in our EIGRP stuff, so a very basic EIGRP configuration right there. Copy that. And then go over to router 1, enable conf t, right click there, enter. Go over to router 2, conf t, right click, and EIGRP should be up. We'll show IP route here just to see what's going on. And we've got some stuff, and I can ping all ones. Life is good. Let's see how router 1 looks at everything. I'm going to go over to router 1 and show IP route. You can see here that under the 20.1 subnet, I've got a dot .1, a dot .0, a dot .3, and a dot .2, all four loopbacks, the four extra loopbacks on router 2. And our goal here is I want to squish them down to one address and still be able to reach these IP addresses. So squish them down to one route and save ourselves some CPU time, save ourselves some uh, processing power and stuff like that and also some space on our routing table. Okay, so let's go into EIGRP, so router. Actually, we're gonna go into the interface, interface fast 0, zero. This is an interface level command on EIGRP, and it's going to be IP summary address. EIGRP, an autonomous system number one. Remember with EIGRP, the commands are kind of ass backwards. It's IP sum command and then EIGRP. It's very different than RIP and OSPF, where things will start off with IP OSPF, IP RIP, that type of stuff. So EIDRP is just a little different. Okay, so now we have to figure out what address do we want to use? What's the summary address we want to advertise? Now we could, let me just move my terminal window there. We know that the first two octets match, so 20.1. Okay, so that's going to be the same. Now we have to figure out what that third octet is going to be. And uh, hmm, let's let's see here. We want to start with zero. We want to catch zero. We want to catch one, two, and three. So we probably have to start at zero. And then we'll do a dot zero at the end of there. So 20.1.0.0. And question mark after that, what's our mask? Well, since our first two octets are the same all around, so it's 255.255. .255 dot. 
And now we have a dilemma. What do we use? Well, we've got, uh, let's see, four networks that we want to summarize. We can do a, let's see what we can do here. How about a 252? Let's try that, 252.0. Question mark after that. We can put administrative distance if we want. Uh, we'll leave that for now. And we have a leak map command that we could do. That's going to be for the next video. So let's see if this works. We do an IP summary address. And you can see our neighbors uh, goes down. From my perspective, show IP route. Everything still looks pretty much normal. If I do a show IP EIDP topology, everything still looks normal there. Except you see here, I've got a null route to my slash 22. Okay. So that's there. Uh, let's see if show IP protocols looks any different. Show IP protocols, I've got a summarizing with this metric. So that looks pretty good. Now let's take a look at router one and see if anything's different on router one. Show IP route. And yeah, look at that. We've got our wonderful 20.1 subnet. It's summarized as a slash 22. And let's see if we can ping stuff. Let's ping 20.1.0.1. So that's good. Ping 20.1.1.1. That's good. Ping 21.2.1. And that's good. And ping 21.3.1. And that's good. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to see if we summarized too much. So too far. And always as a good practice, ping one past that and also one below. We can't go any lower than zero. So you know, not even going to bother with that. But we can go... 20.1.4, which is one above three, and just to see if we, you know, screwed up. So we'll ping that, see what happens, and I should get dots, which is nice. If you had tried to summarize too much, so if you accidentally included 20.1.4, you would be seeing use because router one would still would be trying to send to the summary address, and nothing would be coming back. But in this case. Our router doesn't know about 20.1.4.1, and we get a failure right off the bat. Okay, so it's always a very good thing to test out here. Show IP route, just to show you what's happening here. And this is our summary, and that is the metric. And let's finish up by just taking a look at router 2's config. Show run. And we have inside of our fast Ethernet 00 IP address. That's okay. And then this is our IP summary address, EIGP 1, 20.1.0.0. It's a slash 22. And this 5 here, you didn't type in this 5, but that is the administrative distance that uh, the router happily added for you. All right. So save this config because in part two of this video, we will play around with leak maps. Thanks for watching.